The skies are finally clearing up after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. Wrap up tight and settle in, folks. This is 104.3 WBCK, the Basswood Sound. I'm your host, Carrie Hammond. Coming up after a short break, mental health expert Dr. Wick will discuss the recent opioid epidemic that's been affecting... Time to kill before the funeral. Might as well spend it here. This place was always one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. I came up here every chance I could. One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. I'm not sure Nick would even want me at his funeral, given how I left things. I remember spending entire summers on the banks fishing with Nick. My hometown. It felt more imposing in my nightmares. Strange to think of Basswood without its mine. You'd think the massive cliff face would be a giveaway. I get the feeling it still sees some use, given how bad the coverage is up here. These trails were great to walk if you wanted to feel truly alone. Hunting is another tradition I could never get behind. Just don't see the appeal. A lot of people were upset when it closed, but not upset enough to fix it. I left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it.
I used to love looking at basswood from up here. It helped give me perspective. Until that day. Why can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here, not even me. And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. This is Anna. She works freelance. Uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. <laughs> what do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit-chat. And Sam, be nice. I had never met someone so interested in others, even in me. The story is important. You know I think that. It's just... People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam, are you even listening to me? I heard you, Anna. But no. I wasn't listening. Come on, Anna. Look at this. <laughs> what is it? Someone skinny dipping? Anna, you really need to see this. I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Trying to be romantic. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. I'm down on one knee? A ring? What else would I be doing? You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before. We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? I missed the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again.
Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The good news, though, at least you don't have to do it alone. Lost the signal. Some things never change. You actually came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. Can we talk? We're talking right now. It's cold. So... You left. Joan, that's not fair. You left. Look, Joan, I messed up. You said you wouldn't leave. You said... You said... I don't remember exactly, but you pinky swore. I didn't mean to lie, I just screwed up. After Anna broke up with me, I'm... I'm sorry. I wish words meant anything. I wish this didn't make it harder for you to trust me now. You could have at least called something. Especially after... You know... After my dad. I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> You're always at least honest. Listen, I, uh, I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad? It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's... wrong. I don't buy it. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. 
I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muley? Please? She wants her father's death to mean something. But where does that lead? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. This is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other. Even if it means disappointing her again. It's your call. Okay, I'll see what I can see and all that. Gumshoe it up. You will? You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah, me too. I might just be, I don't know, crazy or something, but... You want to know for sure. I get it. Thanks, Muley. I, um... I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there, too. Can't hide in your car all night. Who says I'm hiding out here? I do. See you inside. Might as well talk to Walter. I'll have to sooner or later. Yes, the cat food is under the sink. Yes, yes it is, Mother. Trust me. Oh, Samuel is here. I'll call you back. Samuel Higgs, as I live and breathe. Has it really been over two years? Regardless, I'm so glad you finally made it. It's good to see you. What kept you? A trip down memory lane. I missed the funeral, but I made it to Nick's wake. You have to bring it in for a hug. It's a basswood back in town requirement. So good to see you. Even if I wish the circumstances were different. In times like these, we need the comforting touch of others. At least I do. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? No, why? Um, no reason. If you get the chance, we should catch up. We should really catch up. I'll see you inside.
Mr. Samuel Higgs, big shot investigative reporter. Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. I'd gladly slash your tires, but that means you couldn't leave town. And you are leaving town right after this, right? Just really embracing those Hicks stereotypes, huh, Joel? Gentlemen. We get you good old boys another round. Mighty kind of you, Declan. You're not worth it, Higgs. Making friends already, I see. Declan, been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to angry up everyone's blood. I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, shame that. You watch yourself. I think it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. That's what people do, right? That's where Nick and I sat every time he dragged me out for drinks after work. Sammy! Oh, it's been ages. Tara? Oh, me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always churning. Uh... And this thing with Nick, his car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Um, no. The infamous Sam. I've read that article you wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of late work on that. Oh, uh, you read it. What do you think? Of the writing? Fine. Fine. Of the reporting? <laughs> Something that needed to be done. Many medicines are a bitter brew, but you still need to take them. That's nice of you to say. Oh, don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now, I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. Don't be a stranger, Sam. Kathy... Uh... Sam, you actually came. I know you two haven't been together for a long time, but I'm still sorry. We hadn't been close in years, but he was my daughter's father. I'll miss him. Joan was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and... Jones never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um... Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? Hard to make promises. I don't do well with those in Joan. I've noticed. But I'll try. Sam, I'm gonna hold you to that. You're a lot like Pac-Man, Sam. I consume everything in my path. You find every last bite. The mine closing wasn't your fault. Your investigation just hurried things up. You'll probably save some lives, you know. Hi, Dad. I'm Yuli. You piece of Language. 
Is that a wedding ring? I didn't know you were thinking about marriage. Oh, it's just... It feels like the right thing to do. Dad, what's the point of getting married? Well, it's just one of those things people do, Bug. Here, you can play. Someone has to show you, grown-ups. Video games are the realm of the young. Have you talked to Anna about this? That's kind of the point. I'll talk to her about it when I show her the ring. If you say so, hey, just remember I'm here, right? If you need anything, anything but my arcade secrets, those I'll take to the grave. Sorry we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rest up, big guy. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. He was more her best friend than a dad. Happier times. Samuel, guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. Not after you went careening out of town like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. Okay, I'll bite. Tell me, Dennis, who did you have a standing bet with? Myself. So I guess I also won. What are you even doing here, Dennis? You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. And I thought he was a hack, which he was. This coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Relax. I'm just playing. <laughs> At least tell me how you've been. If you must know, I still haven't bounced back from when Anna and I broke up. I think you mentioned she broke up with you. Yeah, but I hear you. Yeah, that's how I ended up in this shit town. Chasing a woman. Yeah, then she left and I got stuck here with two kids. Anyway, cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Speaking of which...
Anna? Sam! I've missed you. Why did it take so long for you to darken my doorstep? Well, I'm here now. I'll have to try and come by more often. That's what I'm supposed to say, right? Even if not everyone around here would like it. People around here have short tempers. <laughs> and long memories. But most of them mean well. Sam, the mine was gonna close anyways. Maybe in a year or two, five, if the Lord has a sense of humor. It was gonna run dry or have an even bigger disaster. It wasn't your fault. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. It doesn't make it easier, though. It's gotta make it a little easier. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, well, your dad's Joe. He's an oak, unmoving and annoyingly supportive. <laughs> it wasn't just him. Nick thought your piece was great. He was actually jealous. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven, as he used to put it. You know, Nick and I had moved in together, started to get serious, but I think it's only now I realize how much I cared for him. Yeah, yeah, that's, um, you two, it must be so hard. Are you okay? You knew about us, right? He, he, he said he was gonna tell you. Uh, yeah, I, I knew, but knowing and, um, <laughs> knowing are different. Yeah, I, I guess they are. But this, th this was all nice. The funeral, the wake, Walter did a good job, <laughs> but it all just makes me feel heavy. It makes my heart hurt. Like, Nick's memory has been laid on top of me, and I'm still carrying him. Nick's death. Do you know if he had any enemies? Working on anything dangerous? Whew. Now this is a real can of worms. This is a wake. I know that. Do you? This isn't the time to be digging and pushing. You always do this. You always, I, I get it. I just, you, you're still you, huh? You'll always still be you, Sam. I hope you never change, but I can't handle this right now. I'm gonna go home. I hate that his stuff is all over my house. Then drink and cry all night. You do what you need to do. See you around. Samuel, come, have a round with me. I need a drink or two, or three, and then I'll go. Nick's the guy who got the mind called. I didn't know you read Dickens, Ethan. Uh, not really. You just quoted him a couple of times. So, Nick wasn't drunk, and me? <laughs> I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. Join us. We were just sharing stories about dear Nicholas. And let me get your next round. Maybe Ethan has a suggestion for a worthy spirit? Well, oh, spirits? Oh, no, no. Friends drink beer. Yes, I suppose that's fitting. To dear Nicholas. Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. Sat right there. With a bad dad joke or two. With friends, I guess? Maybe Anna. Oh, by himself with his laptop as his date. He never drank alone. You two were close though, right? Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. Kept his notes squirreled around him like a horde.
I don't know. I hadn't spoken to him in almost two years. I cut this whole town out of my life, and now it's like I'm a stranger. This place is in your blood. It's like an old glove. You have to give it time. The friend of man, the friend of truth. The friend of age and guide of youth. Few hearts like his with virtue warmed, few hearts with knowledge so informed. If there's another world, he lives in bliss. If there is none, he made the best of this. Burns, that from your eulogy? You know Robert Burns? And no, just something I keep on hand for toasts. Well, it's a good choice. And sorry about that, Sam. I wasn't trying to bring you down. Everyone liked him. I think even Dennis liked him somewhat. He always had a lot of friends. A few who couldn't make it sent flowers. How's the family taking it? Joan and Kathy seem shaken. Kathy has a lot to deal with, now more than ever. But who could prepare for losing a parent? Not a soul. Not a single soul. It always seemed so easy for him. Every day he'd show up, smile, no matter what. Of the qualities in a good man, that one deserves to be at the top. Not a quality I possess. This isn't a place for self-pity. This is a place for dour reflection. Yes, and drinking. To Nick, he was my friend. He will be missed, but not forgotten. Here, here. Put that down. Kathy, what's your underage child doing drinking? You have no control over her? Ethan can lose I his license. I wasn't doing anything. Don't touch me! Joan! Leave me alone. Ugh, you guys are all so... so... stupid! You do not talk to people that way. I'm... I'm sorry, everyone. She's just so... so... That was quite heavy-handed. I hope the little one doesn't take it to heart. Declan sure came at her with both barrels. Joan's tough, though. She'll be okay. I'd say that went well. Ish. You got to chat with everyone you've been avoiding. Even if Joan got inside your head with her whole dad mystery death thing. Just shut up. Coming back to Basswood was your idea. You're the one in the driver's seat, Sam. I can't make you do anything. Deep down, you've been looking for a reason to come back. <sighs> It's gonna be one of those long nights inside your head, huh? Hey, I didn't, I didn't ask for you to be here. To come back. I couldn't let you miss this. You just showed up. You can't see it now, but the guilt would have eaten you alive. You're back out in the world, feeling emotions, Fitting in, that's progress. Fuck the world. Pointless talking and more talking and no one says what they mean. Go away. Let me enjoy being miserable. 
Just try and make sure you don't do anything stupid. No promises. Okay. What kind of monsters have a checkout at nine? What happened last night? Oh, my head. Pills plus drinking. That was not my best idea. Did I black out or what? Ugh, oh, I can't. I can't think straight. I need some water on my face. Late for checkout. They can wait a bit more. Oh, my head. How many of these did I take? God, what a headache. I feel like a small jackhammer in my left temple. At least it won't take me long to get my things. I already feel more human. Now, where did I put my shirt? If my jacket's here, my shirt can't be far. Didn't even get under the covers. Glad I even made it to the bed. Please let there be water. No water, of course. Focus. Find the way to calm down. <sighs> 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 
Sam, folk, you have to find the right door. You need to steady yourself. Sam, focus. You have to find the right door. You need to steady yourself. Sam, focus. You have to find the right door. You need to steady yourself. <sighs> Sam, Samuel, focus. Focus on anything other than the fear. You're doing good. Really good. You're almost there. Focus. Choose. Act. Deliberately. If I run, I'll keep running. Face what happened. Answers. Hide. It's never happened. Going on. Get far away. Don't think. Just go. As fast as I can. If I run, I'll keep running. I need to face what happened. Answers. Yes, answers. Good or bad, I need answers. I know what you're thinking. Stop thinking that. Pills and alcohol? You're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. The last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. The squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play lone wolf detective. I'm gonna take it slow and be cautious, don't worry. Yeah. Telling people not to worry always works. I can't just run from whatever this is. So either help me or get out of my head. It's your life, Sam. I just live here. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Used Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. 
I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. seeing this before, a long time ago. I doubt Ethan's account somehow led to the blood on my shirt. First, look around, figure out what happened. I ended up drinking alone. So who brought that second glass? do this? Sorry, Nick. What knocked this clock off the pillar? These were sent scattering. Someone thrown into them? Ripped. Did this happen yesterday or was it always like that? It seems there was a fight that could explain the blood on my shirt. Does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. Joel's hat. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. Hugh's business card. Wonder why it's here. What a mess. Hope this wasn't me. Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. Might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night.
DG, Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever happened? Wouldn't surprise me. I think I've seen enough to just gotta think it through. At least I can always count on this place to make sense. Now to work out what happened while I was blacked out last night. I just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Until only the truth is left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through, find out what really happened. My memory ends here, but there's two. I was drinking on my own, when someone approached me. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight. Obviously. If I figure out how the fight went, I should figure out who my assailant was. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. It looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. That could be it, but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. I have the complete picture now. You know, the man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. Who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch who... Talk about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was, Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. But not here. Sam. Meet me later at Sam. the end. Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. 
And if you don't, well, tell them you're here to apologize. I don't have time to lose explaining myself to Ethan.